Hello everyone, this is Lisa Abbott. I'm a digital learning specialist here in Fort Worth ISD. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a folder on your Google Drive, how to set the folder permissions to public, how to move the items to this folder that you need to, and how to upload this folder to your Google site. This method will allow you to add and remove lesson plans from your folder each week without having to make any changes or publish your Google site. So each week, whenever you want to add new lesson plans or remove old ones, you just make the changes to the folder and it will automatically be updated on your Google site without having to republish or make any changes. So that's what's really cool about this. So let's get going. So I'm going to go over to my Google site. I'm sorry, to my Google Drive. And I'm going to click on the plus new and I'm going to say folder because I want to create a new folder. I'm going to go ahead and call it lesson plans for website because this is just going to hold the lesson plans I want to put on my website. I'm going to say create and you see it's right here. Um, so I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to change the color is the first thing I'm going to do so that it's easy to find. So there I've changed it to an orange. Now I'm gonna right click again, and I'm going to say, get shareable link. And notice it's restricted. We're gonna change this to anyone with a link because we want everybody to be able to view this. So it should be set to anyone with a link can view because this is for parents and we this is for our published public website. So we want it to be viewable. We don't want there to be any um, request access issues. Uh, and then we say done. And the last thing I'm going to do just so that this is easy to find is I'm going to add it to start. Start is sort of a favorites and I'll show you where that's at in just a second. So we've changed the color, we've created the folder and we've made it public. So now anything we put in there is going to be public and we'll will be viewable by parents. So now I'm gonna to go to my starred by clicking over here on the starred underneath, underneath on the left here. And here it is right here, here's my lesson plan. So now all I need to do is move the lesson plans to that folder. So let's go and get my lesson plans. So I have two lesson plans here. I have this one and this one. They're for last week and for, for this week and I'm going to, so I, I held down the control key and selected both. That's why this is blue and this is blue. And now I'm going to right click and I'm going to move to, because we want to move them to that folder we just created. And so I just used my scroll button on my mouse to scroll that up a little bit so I can see it. Uh, and we're going to move it to, remember we start it. So we're going to move it to the starred folder. So we're going to click on that. And it was called lesson plans for website. So that's where we're going to move them to. It says these items will be visible to everyone who can see lesson plans for website. That's great. That's what I want. Okay. And so now we've got our folder called lesson plans and we've put two lesson plans in it. So now I'm going to go to our website and I have already added a title called lesson plans. So I'm just going to kind of click underneath underneath here. I'm going to do a quick double click and I'm going to say, I want to upload from my drive. This is just a quick way to get a little shortcut icon to do things, um, add things to your Google site. So here is the little icon for our, my drive that I'm going to click on. And then I find my folder and we made it orange and here's our folder. And I say, insert, and now we can just make it a little bigger. And so now when I publish this site, let's do a quick publish and we'll do publish. Um, so now you only have to publish it once. Let me get the link, copy it, go into a new window and paste it and hit enter. And so now down here you will see I have a folder as soon as it loads, I have a folder. And it's called, I got my lesson plans here. So I don't have to publish this again. Whatever I do to this folder now, whatever lesson plans I put in there or take out, it will automatically update my published site. So that's what's really awesome about it. So that is how you add a folder to your website for your to hold your lessons, to save you time each week so that you don't have to keep making changes to your website. 